Hello Libra, this is your November 2018 reading. It will not resonate with all Libra individuals, so keep that in mind. I'm going to try to pick up energies that are new, but it may actually continue on from the last reading. But like I said, it could be a totally different new energy. But this is for Libra, full Celtic cross, starting November 2018. Libra, starting November 2018, Libra. Energies, positive energies, hopefully. Give me a positive energy from the universe. Libra, 2018. If you do get some negative cards, we'll work it out. This is for Libra, full Celtic cross. See what the incoming energies are. Lovers. Doesn't surprise me with Venus going direct in your sign. I think, it, I think the first week of November, I got a check. But the lover's card. Uh, the foundation or subject at hand, you don't feel like you've got a success, though. What's crossing it is taking control or um, getting one up on something. Take, taking control of a certain situation, but winning. And not trying to try not to get defensive. You're trying not to get defensive, but you might have gotten a little defensive, and that's where you probably think you didn't have very much success. success. That you didn't get on top of a certain situation. The goal, the Knight of Wands in reverse. You could be dealing with a Knight of Wands. This could be a fire sign. Could be a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They're in reverse, so you may be trying to deal with them in a certain situation. I'll need to clarify. Foundation, you're trying to regain happiness. You don't feel happy at all. In the past, you had the anxiety. This is the anxiety card. It's a nine of swords. We'll clarify that, too. Near future, you feel like something cost you. I think it cost too much. Took too much out of your finances. Now this is uh, the future or outside environment and the final distant outcome of what could be occurring in November. Are you feeling like something cost you? I'm thinking this is a different energy than before because this has a lot to do with, you know, you feeling like you had to battle something. It caused a little bit of anxiety. Okay, you got the Six of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands crossing it. Why are you there for Libra? What's going on? I do shuffle these prior and meditate. You weren't able to move on the way you want to. Some of you probably were trying to move and weren't able to for some reason. Something got stuck. Can I get another card? Princess, Princess of Disc could have to do with a earth element, someone taking on that energy. It could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. They're in the upright, but you feel like you didn't get a victory, and, and, and they're, they're somehow involved with it. Now, as the goal, you got the Knight of Wands in reverse. I need another card to tell you why you got, that is your goal. Knight of Wands in reverse. Why are you the goal for Libra? Feel like nothing is growing with them. Maybe you're trying to turn that around, or maybe you're trying to stop dealing with the Knight of Wands and you're thinking it's a lost cause, nothing is coming from it, nothing is not very fruitful for you. Could also, for a very few of you, be, have to do with a pregnancy. Maybe something failed in that area somehow. Can I get another re another card for the Empress and the Knight of Wands? The Y card. Felt like it's a failure. You could be like trying just to regroup your situation and not deal with the Knight of Wands, and because it was a failure, or maybe you're trying to overturn a failed situation with the Knight of Wands. And the Empress. Now the foundation is the happiness card. The Nine of Cups is in reverse. You're not happy. Nine of Cups, why are you there for Libra? What made you so unhappy? What is Venus in retrograde doing this? You're trying to get success because you're just not happy with what, what the current environment is. Can I get another card? We had the success card before. 
remember as a subject in hand, now the foundation is you trying to get that success because something did not work out. You're not happy over, you know, something that did not work out. And now you're trying to regroup and you were trying to regroup. Can I get another card for the Nine of Cups and the Six of Pentacles for Libra? There's a happiness in reverse. You're not happy, Libra. What happened during Venus in retrograde, huh? It's almost over. Then it goes direct in your sign again. And you want that. In the past, you had that Nine of Swords, that cruelty card, that anxiety. Why is that there, Nine of Swords? In the past for Libra. Past betrayals. <laughs> Trying to come out of past betrayals. Being stabbed in the back. Things you thought ruined you. Can I get another card? Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords in reverse. Feeling trapped, trying to come out of a trap situation from anxiety, trying to come out of trying to come out of anxiety in the past. Now in the near future, you got the Ten of Pentacles. This is someone who's not reached their goals yet. They're still going for that wealth they want and um, the riches that will make them happy. It's in reverse. This is the first couple of weeks in November. It's in the very near future. And you may feel like something cost you also. Ten of coin, why are you there? In reverse for Libra. Could be you have to do like with a home situation. Four of cups. Something you might have missed out on something. Something lucrative. Or you may have turned something down. You didn't trust it. Can I get another card for the ten of coin and the four of cups in reverse? And try, you're still trying to take control, domination over the certain situation. And you got a choice to make, too. You had to make a choice, and you're feeling like you didn't make the right one in the near future. So look into things before you leap. I must, uh, try not to miss any opportunities. Make good decisions. Investigate, investigate, investigate a certain situation. Make sure you make the right choices, because you can control this situation easily and disregard this. Now, the possible future outcome or the advice card. If you take the advice, it could be the, the uh, outcome. This is, uh, don't hold back so much, it's saying. It could be. Let me get another card for sure. I hate to say that. Four of Pentacles in reverse. While you're there for Libra as the possible future outcome or advice. Hmm. I need one more card. That's a Two of Swords up. You may not be holding back, or it could be that you should. Let me see. Yeah, you need to come at anxiety. You've got to block certain situations that are not good for you, or, as for some of you, or take the blinders off can you, so you can see things for what they are and come out of that anxiety. For some of you, it could be watch for certain situations that cause you anxiety, something that may take something that's um, valuable to you, something you kept to yourself. could be have a lot to do with finances again. So the advice would be be careful with your finances. You, it may be for some of you telling you really to block things right now because you need to come out of the cruelty of the anxiety. It's going to be different for all of you because we're, I'm dealing with a lot of different Libras here. You've got to come out of, out, of, out of feeling anxiety. What is coming towards you? Possibly someone from the past or thoughts from the past. But I'm thinking it's outside environment, so I'm thinking it's someone from the past. Why is that there? Why is the Six of Cups coming towards Libra? You don't want this. You may want to, you know, make yourself unavailable. Six of Cups, why are you there? Something from the past coming towards them or causing all this. Six of Cups, why are you there? Queen of Discs could have to do with the Earth element that is in reverse. This could be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Can I get another card? Or someone taking on an energy. Can I get another card? And the Princess of Wands could be a couple of people coming back. Princess of Wands is a fire sign. Could be, or someone taking on an energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got some people coming towards you from the past. It's just the way it is. You don't want to talk to them? Cut them off. 
uh, block your phone. Um, your hopes and fears could be a hope that you have stable work. This is the Eight of Pentacles. It's in the upright. It's a good card if you're wanting stable work, but it's a hopes and fears. It's not the final, final outcome. So Eight of Pentacles, why are you there for Libra? As the hopes and fears change, you wouldn't change in a work situation, money situation. And the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords is air energy. This could be you. You may be wanting to turn yourself around. So you're hoping for more money change and to turn your situation around because the Queen of Swords is an air energy. It could very well be you. It also could be another Libra. A Gemini or Aquarius. Now, not ready to spill these. The final outcome, distant outcome, star card. You're thinking you're going to give up hope on whatever this thing is in the past, the situation. You're going to feel like it's hopeless. Can I get another card for the star card for Libra? Because of sneaky, manipulative behavior. Or that something comes out, or you feel like I need to break free because this is hopeless. Seven of Swords in reverse. Can I get another card? Yeah, and you may walk away from a certain situation that cost you because you want happiness. Someone from the past will be coming out, coming back, or trying to come back. Or they may try to reach people around you, too. That could be why you have more than one person here. They may be trying to reach people around you. And get a hold of you, but you had a lot of anxiety, and the universe is telling you to break free from that anxiety and protect yourself. Think of yourself. Hold back. You know, keep your don't don't give away everything you got all the time. Hold back and get out of anxiety for some of you. And I told you all the other ones it could be, but you, in the end, you're going to feel this situation is hopeless, and you're going to walk away from it, at least from the anxiety for sure. Because that seven of swords, some, if something comes out of sneaky behavior, you possibly, some of you will find out. You, some of you will break free. And some of you yourself may express a secret and decide just to walk away from the situation. Bending energy is the three of swords. This is past heartbreak. This is ener ending energy. This is someone healing from heartbreak. You're going to heal from this heartbreak with the Three of Swords. I don't think you're going to be stuck in it because you're walking away. So Venus in retrograde dealt people coming back from the past. And it's going to go direct in the near future. And take, and take advantage of that. And I'll be giving you a reading again before mid-November and see these energies change. And I'm sure they're going to. Because like I said, you got Venus going direct now. Things are going back to normal in a better way. So I'll talk to you later, Libra. And this is your reading. Bye.